Alright, microphone test, test, test. Noise, noise, noise. Hey, Trendy. Hey, Suicide Run. How you guys doing? You guys are having a good day today. Um, Trendy or Suicide Run, do either of you play Dead by Daylight by chance? I have a spare uh, prime code if either of you want it. I don't know why I was given two, but I have two. So if either of you want it, you could have it. Uh, Discord news. Uh, links. Case link. Publish link. Confirm. You just got banned off Twitter again? What'd you do? Oh, well, more or less what happened, I guess. What'd you do, but Yeah, what happened? Uh, hide sidebar on that. Do you want the, uh, code trendy? In case you ever get into it for whatever reason down the road. I'm going to turn that on for Dana. Okay, background noise. Yep, coffee. Here. Sunflower seeds, because I want to have a little snack. So why not? Alright, so let's do this. So, boom, 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 boom. It's for the uh, artist killer. It has a unique skin to her. What the fuck, really? Of all the fucked up stuff that gets posted on Twitter, that's what they actually get pissed off about. That's rather sad. Hey Jelly. I miss Tippy. Hope you two are doing well. No worries. No worries. Where is this? Oh yeah, I don't think I'll just turn that. There we go. That strains that one out. Then this one needs to be like this. Ah, I got it. Nice. There we go. Make sure my arm isn't really cut off. It's not. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Right there, so it's out of my way. Copy over here. How was work? How did everything go? How is everyone doing? What is new with everyone? Tonight I am anticipating some salty survivors because it will be the last night that they get to use their beloved uh, abusive perks before they get nerfed to the ground tomorrow. And that's not the perks are super abusive, it's just the combos they use them in. They're just very annoying, so I get to celebrate them going bye bye tomorrow. Get rid of this one. I don't like playing Blight. Yeah. That I too, I know I shouldn't pre-order games, but I mean, it's up to you, man. Nothing against it. I'll be in and out of chat. No worries, man. You do what you gotta do. Bam 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 bam. Wow 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 wow. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with pre-ordering a game if you're really looking forward to it. You doing, Athena? You doing, my little ninja? Okay. What do I say? You got pip was. I say you got one. That's not really that big of a deal. Um. Dailies. We have twins. That could be a fun one to try to do, I guess. 
We have bear traps. Catch three survivors in bear traps. That might be a little bit of fun to do. View the order of the most recent survivors to disarm for five seconds. That's right now be useful for what I'm doing. Uh, mangled? Eh, maybe. Which one is this one again? I forgot. It says two seconds. Eh, we could we have to stick with that. It's fine. It's fine. One extra bear trap. Darkens the appearance. Really, the appearance is going to be that much of an issue. Um. Oil might be worthwhile for what we're doing, I think. Maybe. Yeah. That should be good. We said after two seconds will probably be worthwhile. Let's put... Big thunkers, what do we want to do? Maybe Memorial Institute would make the most sense. Nowhere to hide. Um, yeah, let's try that. Because all we gotta do is just get three survivors trapped. That's all we're doing. Alright, for those that didn't see it, uh, EBD is actually doing something very cool. And what they're doing that's very cool is that uh, on a 26, if you have Amazon Prime, you get this upcoming battle pass, which lasts normally three months roughly. You get it for free. Premium, 100%. So all you have to do is just play the game to get the rewards. And what's cool about that is that if you have the battle pass, you get Oryx cells. There's enough Oryx cells per battle pass to buy the next battle pass for free. Which means if you don't spend your Oryx cells on cosmetics, you could theoretically never have to spend money on a battle pass again because you could just keep rolling your Oryx cells to the next battle pass and to the next battle pass. See where I'm going? You could just keep rolling them and rolling them and rolling them make it work. It might be worthwhile for those who are interested in the game just don't want to spend 10 bucks every three months. Uh, how much is Amazon Prime? It depends on your country where you live. Um, the other thing you could do, it's a little cheeky, is if you wait until like the 24th of April, you could sign up for a free Prime uh, A free Prime trial account. I think you get like one or two weeks. Or is it a month? I don't remember. You get like anywhere from like seven days to 14 days or some shit like that to test it out. And if you want to be a little cheeky, you just use a trial to get the codes. And then if you remember to cancel your trial, cancel your trial, you're good. Like big fucking emphasis on cancel the trial after you get the code. Because if not, they will charge you for a full year upfront. So... If you are very good at being methodical and remembering stuff, then that might be a very good way to do it for free. But if you have Amazon Prime or just don't mind getting Amazon Prime, then that's another cool option. And then of course with Amazon Prime, as always, Tommy Lowe's sellout moment. My one for today. Don't forget you could use Amazon Prime on your favorite streamers and all that fun stuff for a free tier one subscription. It costs you nothing. And the subscriber gets or not subscribe with the Streamer gets the usual tier one rates. And then there's other stuff you could do to <clears throat> wombo combo it. Like for me, I think I only spent like six or seven dollars a month on it because I have a educator discount. 
There's a bunch of other discounts. I think there's like a first responders discount. I know there's a military discount. So you could go through and see what's needed to get your monthly discount. Yeah. The only thing with the Prime sub you have to remember is that you're given one each month and you have to mainly go in and uh, hit use every single month. So it doesn't automatically go to that streamer, you have to actually click it and hit use on this person. Which isn't that bad really, to be fair, because it's free, but it is one thing a lot of people forget. map's not going to work for us so well because I don't think there's anywhere to really set a trap to be useful. Maybe a couple small little choke holds, but that's about it. Because I usually love to hide corners real quick so that should work again we only need three people caught i'm not really looking for w's i just want to see if i can get the daily done my dude were you just saying they're lurking watching me doing stuff that's a dick move out of your dick Is a walking penis. isn't into gaming. There's a lot of cool stuff you get. There's a lot of free games. There's a lot of uh, DLC codes for games. Sometimes you get little bonuses like uh, it works too. You get miniatures and boosters and all that fun stuff. DVD you get to get little outfits and charms and yeah. no idea how they saw me put traps down when I have silence on. Unless it's bugged and survivors can still hear the audio. Should be a little fucked. I could do. Ah! 
All right, so that's one caught. I was hoping she was going to step in again. Any other map would have been a good map for us, but this one. Hmm. Yeah, I play Code Vein. I love it. Code Vein's pretty fun. Um, it can be challenging if you want to play 100% by yourself without an AI. But if you play with the companion, it's pretty chill, pretty fun. I do love the customization options on it, though. A lot of very cool ones. Oof, oof. Gonna have to do a second game. This is just a very, 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 very bad map to do anything with Trapper with. There's just nothing to really hide stuff. That's fine. That is fine. Hmm. 
I think about three. No, it's three trouble. Okay, cool. I want to make sure it wasn't one of those weird ones where it's like you have to do all three in the game. This is fine. Something like that might be a little bit better. Let's do that. Sadly, I don't think I have any crow offerings. Right. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, let's try that one. Yeah, it's very good. It's a very, very good game. I really do enjoy it. The music is amazing. Actually, back that real quick and show you. Boop, 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 boop. It is nicknamed the Anime Souls for a reason. Um, is this it? There's like two of them, so I gotta make sure which one is which. Yeah, I think this is the right one. Okay, cool. So if I take OBS. That up. I said down, not up. Come on, man. Pay attention. There we go. If I were to go display capture on, dead by daylight off. So this is the Bondi Namco one for it. Yeah, it's like it. Yeah.
So that's the opening to the game. So if you're into this, if you think this looks cool, then you'll like the game. If not, then, well, yeah. But in a nutshell, that's pretty much what you're getting into. And it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. There are some uh, DLCs to it. The combat is very, very Souls-like. It's done in a very anime style. So if you're cool with anime, if you're cool with Dark Souls, you'll love it. If you hate anime, you're not going to like it. If you dislike Souls games, you're not going to like it. So it's not a nice little niche fit to it. It's also a game that takes great, great, great advantage of the PS5. So on the PS4, when you try to play it on PS4, at least when I did, it was very slow on loading assets. On the PS5, fucking insanely quick. Especially if you have it on the M2 drive. Just ooh. It's blazing fast. Like it makes Dark Souls look like a joke on loading. The character customization is amazing as well. Like you can literally make the character look however that way you want. It doesn't matter. You want to go for a cyberpunk look? Go for it. You want to go for a furry? Go for it. Want to be an alien? Go for it. You're limited to your imagination pretty much. <laughs> One thing I will say though, is unlike Dark Souls, where they give you one or two bosses to start with that are very weak, and you like build up to it in hard level, this one there is no, this isn't an easy boss you start with, now here's hard, nah, no. This one throws you right into the deep end, so you start with a hard boss, and you keep going with the same level of hard all the way up to the end. Um, when I say first boss, I mean first actual boss, not the tutorial boss. I never considered tutorial bosses like legitimately a boss. Because those are like a handheld, this is what you do to beat it kind of thing. Similar to like uh, Gundir and Dark Souls when you first get there, where he's so freaking easy that even without weapons, you could kill him in a couple quick punches. It's, I don't consider tutorial bosses to be the same thing. And outside that, <laughs> if you choose to play 100% by yourself without AI, best of luck to your friend because you're going to get your balls kicked in. But you'll have fun doing it. Yeah, this one might test your patience. It's fair. It is brutally fair. If you die in Code Vein, it's because you screwed up. There is no game glitched out or anything else like that. You got bitch smacked by the boss, so that's why you died. So you have to be willing to learn the boss mechanics or you're going to get bitch smacked. And honestly, if it had more views, I would probably play that game nonstop. I really, really, really freaking love that game. It's just sadly not a lot of people watch it. And unless you have a big enough following to get people over there, you're 
pretty much stuck with whoever stops by. And with what I do for a living, I can't do the streamer meta. As in, I can't do YouTube, TikTok. Because that'll give me a big show. I can't do that. So, all my stuff is strictly based on whoever stops by. great game. I think you would really like it. If you really like that one, there's another one that's sort of similar to it that you might enjoy as well. And that is uh, Scarlet Nexus. But with Scarlet Nexus, it's more of a JRPG than a Soulsborne. But it does have Soulsborne elements to it. And the music and graphics for that are just orgasmic. Like it is just a pure eargasm. Why do you two keep going for the same gen? That's annoying the fuck out of me. Quit that. Pump, pump, pump. I think these loops aren't working for me.
That's two. Man. I just need one more person to step on it. That's all I need. I'm not asking for much. People, your level? Um, sort of. So there's like, from what I've seen, like two or three little MMR tiers, I guess. There's a very, how to put it? The MMR is not like a chest MMR set, if that makes sense. So you have like a beginner level and intermediate, and then like the deep end. So it tries to match you with people close, and then there's like a time limit. If that time limit's not met, it generally just says fuck it, and throws you in with everyone else. And on top of that, there's different things like... Each killer technically has its own unique MMR. So... You could be a very good, say, skull merchant, but a shitty trapper. Which might be good because then you could, you know, play the field a bit more. But it sucks because, obviously... I need to reset that one because I think they're downstairs. So you have to do a little bit of mental gymnastics on some of these. It may work out for you, it may not. But yeah.
Alright, so we got those two spread out a bit. Run first of the way out of that, okay. Very late hit, but I'll take it. But I think that was enough for the daily. So now we can go back to actually playing the killers we want to play. Yep, and that was enough for daily. Nice. All right, let's give this one a try. I also forgot to see what was daily rituals. Uh, hatchets. So we could do... Honey Lady, which I forgot her name. Huntress. We have a map, a toolbox, and a medkit. Interesting. I have some car seats. So we have everybody on PlayStation. A little sus. Okay. They were 
Oh, it's definitely a Survivor Friends group. At least two of them are. It's very, very suspicious when everyone is on PlayStation when you have a hard time finding a group of PlayStation players like that in the first place. Interesting. I don't think she made what that did. Where are you going?
speeds. Oh no. She completely blew up the gen. That was bad. And now you'll never get a scope check on it. One for that ass. That big red ass. Oh, down you go. One down. I was hoping he was going to go right, unless I didn't have a corner like that, but he didn't want to move. It's hard on his part because I would have popped the one, but still, it's open. Second chance. I horribly, horribly, horribly mistimed my lunge.
pressure on a couple of these. That would be a pain in the ass later. Two left. Who gets the booping stick of boops? Hey, Leon. Just met you. Ain't this crazy? Here's a mantis blade. Oh, I need to take the window. I'm sad. I need to take the window. Very sad. Very, very sad. get there before I do. You better get there before I do. I tap that ass before you do. You're dead. Ah! You're dead. Pretty map. I like that name. Empress Kitty. Very nice. Putting pressure on Thalita was the right move. Brand new part. Wire spool. Shattered bottle to try to send us off to the uh, Glenville. So that was a good move going for her first. Not because of the offering, but because of that alone. That helped put so much pressure on those guys to try to get the other gems done. our beautiful 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 game of skull merchants we actually got a very rare lobby like something i've honestly have never seen from all my time playing on playstation we had a full squad that was all on playstation not one person not two persons not three persons not four persons all five of us were on playstation Usually we get like one PlayStation player and everybody else's PC or Xbox. That was a fun game. Eating guacamole? Nice. Are you using uh, tortilla chips? Or are you using something else?
the flower, not corn. Oh, I'm sorry. Better than nothing. No doubt. So this is the build I've been using on and off since last night. With some very, very good effects. You can switch out Lightborn. Well, you can switch out the first two perks for whatever you want. But it makes skill checks so difficult to do. So, so difficult to do. Especially if they leave uh, this open. So, they get to 90%. And then they have to hope to RNG that they're able to quickly slam out a new part to get by it. Or face a 6% regression every time they miss. Which is guaranteed to happen from the smaller skill check to no skill check warnings combined on those two. It's been relatively fun watching everything go bam 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 bam. You can take from 90% down to like 50% within a matter of seconds. A mean little build. Uh, what did we have? We have... Hit a survivor with a hatchet throw attack four times. I'll do that next. I am too. I was just telling everybody about that earlier at the start. That if they play their cards right, they don't technically ever have to pay for a uh, premium pass again in Dead by Daylight. Because all they would have to do is just take level 1 to 69, get the Oryx Cells, dump it to an extract, 1 to 69 again, rinse and repeat, and you never got to spend the cash. We have two Flash Sliders, a Claudette, which would definitely be on the uh, gen, and the Fang, which is going to be a distraction, it looks like. Claudette is on PlayStation. We know that because the globe icon's not next to her name. The Felix, the Fang, and the Kate are both on a Windows-based OS platform. Either if it's Xbox or PC. Or the PC, rather. It doesn't matter if it's GOG, Steam, or whatever else. There's a very high chance it's on Windows 10 or Windows 11, so... So if you guys haven't done so. Boom. I got Silica, awesome person, if he deserves her love. Hey Squizzy, how you doing? Hope you're doing well, man. How's your uh, game going? Right, how are you? Well, thanks. And if you don't know Squizzy, you know who Silica is. Just, they changed their name for the second time. Well, third time. Third? Second? Third? Oh, yeah. Every now and then? Alright, cool. He knows? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, where are we going? One survivor, two survivor, three survivor, four. I see they follow. Thank you for the follow, person who followed. I don't know why my alert's not working, but thank you. Appreciate it. Out to the head. Feels good. Oh. Uh, Squizzy. I'm in Orlando now. So I am much closer to the Tallahassee area. Much closer. Pretty good. I actually enjoy this a lot more than I thought I was. The temperature is a lot more consistent. It's not so hot. It's not so cold. It's very, very consistent. I like it. Yeah. Well, most northern parts, because then you get to Pensacola and you get the extremes. You get the 120 degree summer, and then like the 20 degree winter. But it's pretty cool. The only weird part, and I forgot about this, living in Tampa, is all the international people that stop by during winter.
Like I think last month alone I counted like 20 Canadian license plates on a 10 minute trip to Walmart, which was interesting. Yeah, speaking of Utah, uh, I saw something on Major League Baseball that was showing that you guys were trying to get a MLB team. I think you guys were trying to get like an MLB team and, an, and a NHL team. But I definitely saw those stuff on MLB because MLB sent out a thing of tweets asking what city people wanted to see next for the 31st and 32nd. Which really would be cool for you guys. I think you only have what, the Utah Jazz? Yeah. So to have a full-blown MLB team would be great. It'll give be great competition with Colorado and Arizona. And then of course all the Cali teams that are close by. The only question I would have is how would concessions work with the state's culture and all that stuff and the avid use of alcohol and all that stuff. How would that play out for international kind of games, or hot take games, just recently. Yeah, because that, that was the only thing what I was saying there, I was reading it, I was like, how are you going to make baseball work when it's very, very beer heavy for fans? Okay. Yeah, because that was the only question mark I had was, how are you going to handle beer? Whenever we had fans from like Arizona and Colorado, who are used to getting hammered during the game. One of uh, the girls I went to high school with is moving to St. George, I think, next month. She was telling me how much she really enjoyed her visit over there. And she's been in Florida her whole life. She was talking about how great uh, Utah is. Things going that way. Right now, twenty weather. All right, that's pretty cool. Survivor on top, right up. I see it, and the drone vanished. Damn, it's gone. Mr. Coldest Brutal Winter. I sort of miss winter, like the actual winter cold kind of thing. Only thing I miss about the panhandle. So apparently we got a SEAL team of survivors. Just absolutely picking me apart. And I got stuck on the edge. Feels bad. Falls are the best. All in general, anywhere is the best. Unless you're in Arizona. I don't think there's any time of year that Arizona works.
Damn, it's bound. Nice. Your swears and blankets for like seven months. Oh, well, um, have you seen how skinny I am? I produce like zero heat. I'm like a lizard. I need my own heating rock to sit on. <laughs> you too. There is that. Nice. You need a bear. She's gonna hop off. Yeah. If I didn't rock into the wall, I would've got her. Alright, so she got a giant run. Yeah, three cats keep you warm. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I still have just a two.
hand crush. I think it's here, it's just taking too long. broke everything. Damn it. That's fine. Uh question was a uh, shit ton of fun too. Question was a lot of fun. Just a conundrum that there was that game would have literally went on for hours, like literal hours. So it was just one that was just easier to call a loss and to sit there and hope that they make a mistake and try to capitalize on that mistake. Granted, we would have won the timeout because if they would have waited an hour, we win by default, but just not worth it. It's just better just to eat the hour and move on. Oh, it was a very good team, yeah. We absolutely got defeated uh, by him. It was just a matter of if we got him in a conundrum. Because they wanted a forest cape. And if they would have just left, they could have left, you know, with three and been done. But they wanted the forest cape, and if I would have just sat there on top of Claudette and gone back and forth between the gate and those two, I could have maybe stalled out and forced him to make a mistake and... Maybe snowballed, but it would have been an absolute pain in the ass, and it would have literally been an hour to do. It was just easier just to take the loss and move on. Then yeah, it was a good game. I just got outplayed. Why am I getting everyone as 43, 400, 4, and 7s? Eh. Eh. Okay. I think I need to start throwing games. I think I've won so many games on School Merchant that I'm finally in the above tier of MMR. I think I need to start throwing games. I get good. Whatever comes first.
Hmm. After this one, we'll probably go ahead and switch to uh, Huntress. I can work on a daily. But in the meantime, sunflower seeds. That one's empty. I got scammed. Empty sunflower seed. Scammers. Oh. I got the big bag. <laughs> I got this big bag and I got the giant uh dill pickle flavored ones and the little cubby. And of course a little cup. I can toss the seeds in. Yeah. They are. I couldn't eat them during COVID. Because I like to eat them outside sometimes. And there were city ordinances on about spitting. Because it made sense. Because germs. So I just didn't bother buying them because I didn't feel like spending money on plastic cups. You don't eat the shell, Link. You pop the shell. You eat the seed in the shell, and then you spit the shell out. That works too. That works too, man. I just enjoy spinning the shells. I know some people think it's gross, but I just like spinning the shells. it up and gave me this weird alien flavor. <laughs> First time I've heard it described that way, but yeah. Oops. Uh, until they're dead. Until they're dead. Sounds like this is a downfall playing against 
two survivors that were showing P100s. Is that they know what they're doing. So you make the teeny tiniest of mistake and you pay for it. Uh, good news is all these perks you see right now that the survivors are using get a little bit readjusted tomorrow. Like that dead hard is not going to happen tomorrow. That dead hard will be impossible for them to do tomorrow. Hard again. Nope. Decisive, maybe? Nope. Shoot Thano. Or Sneezy Kitty. Pop that one. That's the other thing that really needs to be fixed with this killer. Is whenever you pop the drones up, they don't stay in a spot you pop them up. If there's a collision, they go all the way until the collision pops off. And that is a little garbagey when you're trying to plan strats out. That does sort of need to get fixed, in my opinion. I do. Somebody else saw that, right? That suction technique she did? I don't like that. That needs to be hardcore cash out again. You shouldn't be able to be suctioned from one spot to the other. Because a survivor moves a certain way. That's weird. I don't like that.
I have nowhere to drop the drone. You're kidding me. That was bad, man. Thing. I'm in my counter. Yeah, I am. I still am. I only have a couple weeks left until I'm out, but. I'm fun, fun. Except there's no pay for summer break, so that's a big oof. But that's just fine, I guess. be fine. I'm gonna make it in time. Uh. Frederick, what's up, man? Alright, that was a little bit uh, this gay. And the only reason we made that kind of a comeback is because they played at the end. They would have just straight up left. They would have easily had all four leave. And they have to do the whole prepare for summer stuff? Yeah. I play DVD on your phone? Nice. Speaking of which, uh. Hey, never mind. Because you're playing DVD on your phone, never mind. I was about to say, if you had DVD. Okay, sort of open up to anyone. If anyone plays DVD on console or PC and does not have Twitch Prime, I do have a spare uh, artist code if anyone wants it. That's for whatever reason, they gave me two codes instead of one. So, up to you guys. Oh, we did get one, one of the hundreds. Yeah, this was a fun game. The only complaint with that one is that I'm not a fan of the whole vacuum tech thingy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Trendy Squizzy. underscore 33 just subscribed. TB Squizzard gifted a dear one sub to Trendy underscore 33. They have given 23 gift subs in the channel. Thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Fred Oak just subscribed. TB Squizzard gifted a tier one sub to Fred Oak. 
They have given 25 gift subs in the channel. Do you remember Squirtle, Squizzy? He grew in size. He was this big and tiny. Now, Silica underscore Desican just subscribed. TB Squizzard gifted a tier one sub to Silica underscore Desican. He's this big. Given 25 gift subs in the channel. This was a birthday present, but thank you so much for all the love. I appreciate it, man. Big Squirtle hugs to you. Get it? Because he's a big Squirtle. A big Squirtle. Big Squirtle hugs. Pow. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to uh, Trendy and Frederick and Silica. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, very cozy. I like him. Need to turn a lint roll over him, though, because I see some thin cat hairs sticking on him. But yeah. I wonder, can I fix this on webcam? I'm still learning how to green screen. Um, webcam group. No. Filters. Chroma overlay. There we go. Also, look who stopped by, guys. We have a very rare kitty cat. The rare, legendary. Athena. Say hi, Thana. I think he's quizzy. Say hi, Silica. Say hi, Trendy. Say hi, Frederick. Say hi, Suicide Run. Say hi, Haversack. AKA Jelly. AKA Miss Tippy. Yep. Dumbledore. Thana. Ambador, Athena. Ambador, Athena. You know you can't eat sunflower seeds, right? I'm pretty sure sunflower seeds are not healthy for cows to eat. Yeah. He's gonna sit there and pout. Okay. You do you, Athena. You do you. What she really wants in this bag. I don't know why she wants in the bag, but she wants it. Probably. Hmm. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, man. It really does mean a lot to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think I said I was going to do Huntress next, right? Um, yeah. I still need one pip. Rip. Let's go to... Funny lady. And we have our Queen of Hearts skin. You have to catch yourself. Squizzy just subscribed. Forgot myself. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Pow. Big squirrel hugs to you. You should also know that you now have a Founder's Badge. Because I did a massive purge of people. So founder badges have been reassigned to people. So, yeah. If you could move, if you could more, if you could move one skill from one killer to another, uh, you can move all skills, unless you mean like abilities. If you mean like Huntress throwing stuff, or Onryo's teleporting, or Demogorgon's uh, tunnel, you mean that kind of stuff? I would move. Let's see. That's a good question. Well, right now I really love Skull Merchants. To make her a little bit more unique, if I could move a killer power over, I would probably move. Um, tough question. I would probably move Ghost Base's stalk. Because he has his belly to stalk people, and then when he's in full belly, stabby, stabby, stab. I would probably move that logically over to her. Because she has a reticle eye, so it makes sense for it to have like some kind of stalking ability to it. Outside of the drone, I think that would be a cool one to have. 
or I would move Wraith's Cloak. I like the ability that he could just pop in a cloak, pop in his stealth, and pop out his stealth willingly. To do that without the drone would be dope. Even if it's a little bit slower than Wraith's. I think that would be fun. Outside of her, the only other thing I could think of... Maybe... The zombies from Nemesis. Redone. For... Hmm. Maybe Xenobite. Because Xenobite's supposed to be a demon. Or it's like called a demon kind of stuff, right? So to have like little mini Xenobites run around with chains whipping you would be cool. But taking like the demon or the zombie mechanic from Nemesis, making them little teeny tiny Xenobites that run around with a fucking chain and just whip your ass as you run around the map. I think it would be hilarious. Everything else I think might be way overpowered. The Ouroboros could be moved over to Onryo because building up Kadim with Onryo is a pain in the ass. Uh, I would give Blight nothing. Blight needs a nerf. I would give Nurse nothing. Nurse needs a nerf. Demo Gorgon, I would probably give a slight rework. Along the lines of Dredge. So, like how Dredge could bounce locker or locker. Freddy could go generator, generator. I think you could do something very similar with uh, Demo Gorgon. Maybe like chest to chest to chest on top of his portals. Maybe something like that could be fun. Twins is unique. Because you can't take Twins as a ability and give it to anything else. Because she's two killers of one. She's Victor, which is the younger tiny creature on her chest. And then she's Charlotte, which is the adult woman. And no other killer, I think, has two parts to him. So it wouldn't really work. The only way you can make it work, maybe, is with Clown. And you would have to go with a comical clown. As in, he has like a little teeny tiny clown on a, I don't know, little mini clown car or some shit that runs around. I can see that maybe working, but besides that, maybe not. You would probably give Dustlinger a little doggy. If you wanted to move Charlotte's over, but I don't know. Oh, Razor series of movies is that? Yeah, it really does. There's a lot of these horror movies that really need a redo. Not even really so much a redo, it's more or less like a real. Well, a redo and a remaster, both. Like. Halloween. It's a classic. It's aged a lot better than Nightmare on Elm Street. I think everybody could agree on that. But if you go back and watch it, it is a little cringe with how outdated a lot of this stuff is. So I think giving Meyer some love and redoing his shows to be a little bit more modern. Not necessarily culturally. Because again, it's a horror movie. You're not meant to be politically correct. You're not meant to be um open up but like update update the wardrobes everyone's wearing update the vehicles being driven update tvs that you're showing around you know just update everything from what was it 1970 was it bring it up to today any of the cgi stuff that would have been used bring it up to today's standard so not like a complete remake, but 
bring it up to like today's standard in terms of appearance not so much in culture because then you really lose the horror movie aspect of it uh freddy i feel bad for freddy he was done dirty in the new movies he just needs a nuke button like somebody that understands the nightmare on elm street franchise needs to redo this Like, I don't mind the look so much of the new Freddy. But compared to old Freddy. Nah. He needs he needs some he needs a lot of love. Onryo is the only one I think that's aged well. Because with Onryo you can't modernize her, sadly. I think this is the only classic horror character that she cannot modernize if you tried. Because her whole entire thing is a VHS tape that you have seven days to watch till you die. So, with today's technology, how would you make that work? Do you have seven days to watch a Netflix show and then you die? Do you have seven days to watch a Hulu show and you die? Seven days to watch a Disney Plus show and you die? I mean, it'd be a little bit. Blu ray is so obsolete now, though. It's, it's such a. I wouldn't say obsolete, it's more of a... It's a niche format now. We had the VHS era. We had the DVD era. We had the Blu-ray era. We're now on to the digital streaming era. I mean, there's a reason why if you go to Walmart or Target or... Any store, you see Blu-rays for like 7 8 bucks. Similar to when like VHS has dropped down drastically in price. TikTok one would be funny. You have to share the TikTok in seven days, but I don't know. It'd be a little bit weirder to try to explain a... How would you rate her? A teenager? In DVD universe, she's considered an adult. But like in a horror universe, like the corpse itself is supposed to be like a... Early teens, I guess? A 12 to 13 age, I guess? So like having her crawl, the phone would be a little weird. No razor I could see getting some work. Oh, I love the Blu-rays too. It's just a fact. Of, it's just a fact of the time, though. It's like with VHS. I really love VHS for the longest time, but it's just the way it is. Keeps moving on. I do hope we get Jason in here soon, though. Um, Cannibal. I honestly don't know if they could remake this. If they wanted to, in real life. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies? I don't know if they could really do it anymore. Just because of movie standards, could he really get away with the amount of gore and violence that needs to be shown to make it work? Because that was the whole sticking point to the thing. Yeah, there was one in the 2000s, but that one's still a little bit dated. Like, you would need somebody who did... I'm not sure if you ever saw it. Um, did you ever watch Terrifier or Terrifier 2? If you watch Terrifier or Terrifier 2, if you were to put the same exact team on Texas Chainsaw Ma Massacre... I think it would work. Yeah, Art the Clown. Because if you took all those visual effects that Art did, Art the Clown that did, and transposed it to Leatherface, I think you can make it work. But anybody else, I don't think they would un they would go for it. It's like a lot of them are more focused on the story and not so much the effect. Because that's like what really makes the slasher movies. Like the slasher movies, the stories are cool. It's like, alright, cool. There's a story to it. But you sort of want to see the arm get flown off and 
the blood splatter and the organs leaking out and the intros and the fluids and you sort of want to see all that stuff with a slasher kind of movie which is what this is you don't really give two dams about other faces backstory so much that's more or less an afterthought after you see all that stuff because then you're like oh okay what made him do that you don't want to watch like five hours of his backstory and then be like oh okay there's a very watered down chainsaw scene and there was a plastic arm with ketchup dripping out of it uh, art would be a great cure for a game we know that the uh creator of Terrifier and Terrifier 2 has been spamming Dead by Daylight non-stop asking for Art the Clown to be in the game. So the only slowdown on that is uh, behavior. Like literally when Terrifier 2 came out for like a week he did nothing but spam uh, Behavior Studios on Twitter saying that uh, Art what was it, like Art for DBD when or better clown available with Art's picture. It was just a matter of behavior Setting down and making it work. I don't think money's going to be an issue because if a dude's spamming Behavior Studios non-stop, I doubt it's a money issue. And a dude owns the IP 100%, so there's no third party to negotiate with. The only issue I could see on Behavior side is do you really want two clowns in a game? how confusing would that be for some people? Because his name is The Clown. So if Art were to be a killer, what do you call him? It's like, he's the ghost face. He's the cannibal. The Clown too? Maybe, yeah. The only other thing I could think of you could do with Art is to call him, like, The Mime. Because he doesn't speak. And he's always doing a little hand gesturing like a mime. And maybe you could call him like the mime. And have him dressed as a clown. Like from the movies. You could sort of do a unique model and put him on clown. Because you know what Blight looks like. So this is Blight's usual look, right? This is his unique model. Good night, Trendy. Hope you have a good night's rest and a great day tomorrow, friend. As always, thank you for being here. We really do appreciate it. Tomorrow is uh, the DVD patch, so we'll be playing the new DVD patch and checking out the new cosmetics and all that cool stuff. So this is Blight's unique skin. Has a unique model and everything. So really, for the clown, you could do the same thing. You can make him a lot skinnier. And I think it would be fine because you already have presidents of killers having unique, completely different models based off their defaults. Like, this is... All roughly the same shape, and then you get this one. Which changes the head and body a little bit drastically. So that exists. The Oni. You go from this to this, which is pretty equal, and you go to this. So I think they could do it. I for you head out as well. It was nice hanging around. Best of luck. Have a good stream and take care, everyone. All right, take care, Squizzy. And as always, thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it, man. I hope all the dev work you go into your game goes well. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. Alright. Huntress time. Loadouts. I need a new perk. Or a new add on, not a new perk. Uh, multi hook. Phoenix raided us. The Stick Phoenix! We are being raided by the one and only Stick Phoenix. 
Not SDK Phoenix. Stick Phoenix. Hey, Stick Phoenix. How you doing? The Stack Man. A Shaky Jake. A David. A Skyfall. It's a Suicide Run. Wait, Suicide Run was already here. Hi, Suicide Run. Hi, SDK. How you doing, man? I like that emote with the cowboy hat. I like it. it looks very sassy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's see. Ah, I need to open the browser so I can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Um, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Damn it, I can't find any emote. I thought I had the best perverted combo for your bandits. Um, I can't find it at the moment. But I found the next best thing to do. I think the ad's over. I think so. But yeah, thank you for the rate SDK. I appreciate it, man. And big Squirtle hugs to you. Ba pow Jumbo Squirtle. Do -do 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 -do. Jumbo, Jumbo Squirtle. There we go. I love it. That's a good combo. Gotta get all the seed. I love it with the wings. That's also good. Good news is, is that a Phoenix Bandits, it's a perfect crime. Because if you get caught in a crossfire, you just be born, right? All oh, this didn't cat here. It was like the perfect thing. You go into a heist, you get pew pewed by the police, and then you just reborn as ashes and try again. The hammer. Nice. Oh. Since SDK is a phoenix. Well. Since SDK is a chicken that is cosplaying a phoenix, it's only right for me to offer you guys food, right? There you go. Here's some seeds. You can have all the seeds you want. All the seeds. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> They're actually pretty good. Get both sunflower seeds. So we are playing uh, Dead by Daylight tonight. We're just messing around. Tomorrow's patch, so I'm not trying to do anything too much. I'm not taking anything seriously whatsoever. Because obviously, 24 hours before patch, everyone knows what's coming into the next patch. Solo healing is getting nerfed. Circle of healing is getting nerfed on the survivor side. On the killer side, you're getting uh, Call of Brine nerf. So, obviously, every single game tonight is going to be survivors and killers. Trying to spam the most obnoxious perks possible before they get nerfed tomorrow. So I'm not in the slightest bit trying to take any of these games seriously. I'm just messing around. If I get back up to silver or gold, that would be awesome. 
but I'm not in the slightest bit concerned about it. And by DH, dude, I am legitimately excited for DH to get smacked upside the head tomorrow. Uh, where is the one I was looking at? One extra hatch. Is they be counting hatchets? Let's see. Can I get away with? Nah, you know, I'm gonna go with It's fine. So, with DH, it's not that I dislike it. It's easy to counter. The thing I don't like about DH is that it feels like a unearned safety shield, if you will. If that makes any sense. Like, instead of having two hits and you're down, it feels like you're given, by default, a extra third one, and there's, like, no mechanic to really reward you to use it. And the reason why I say that's an issue is because on a killer side, you're sort of told that you shouldn't have those safety perks. But to make it fair and balanced, if the killers can't have the safety perks, then the survivors shouldn't have the safety perks. So you sort of gotta keep both sides level. And I think that's where one of the little disconnects was. And thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. They use it the second you start chasing you. Like if it were to be... I don't think the current change is good for it. Like I'm glad it's getting changed, but... On the high end of the MMR aspect, I think the change is good. On the low end, I don't think the change is good. I think a way to rework it would be every time you finish a generator or you unhook somebody, you get a charge. Because then it rewards you for saving teammates and finishing generators. And that seems to be the number one complaint with solo queue for survivors is that people aren't getting their asses on generators. So if you have a survivor that doesn't want to get on generators, well, they mess up three times and they're out of the game, so it doesn't matter. So I think that could be a cool little remedy for it. But some change is better than no change. Yeah. Oh, um... You probably already saw it, and I know you probably have to go take care of Puppy and everything, so I'll keep it quick. But did you see the news with uh, Twitch Prime and Dead by Daylight? This is actually big deal news. That's actually awesome. Because if you save all your Oryx cells, you basically no longer have to buy a Battle Pass. Because you could just take the damn cells from Battle Pass that you get from this prime and roll it over to the next battle pass. As long as you play it every season, just keep re-rolling. I gave her a chance. I threw two hatches. Survivor zoned in two seconds before killer. I want no complaints. She had her chance. That means you actually have to play? Yeah. But the good news is you can play Killer or Survivor. It's a Claudette. I caught it. Aw. Why? Why do you gotta be that kind of a Claudette? I'll give you an opportunity. All you gotta do is drop the pilot. There you go. And you and you're actually have more than two IQ. Damn it. Look at that axe, it's beautiful it is, isn't it? It's from the Alice in Wonderland collection. Since Alice in Wonderland is uh, now public domain. Well, let me correct that. The Lewis Carroll Alice in Wonderland is public domain. The Walt Disney Alice in Wonderland is still trademarked. So the characters from the book you could use willingly. 
but you can't use the character designed by Walt Disney. Which is why we don't have the Alice that we're used to seeing in Disney films. Um, yes and no. Like the original Mickey Mouse, they said that they're not going to fight over. And there's really no reason for them to fight over their current Mickey Mouse because they never use it. Whoa! She's spinning me. I'm getting spun. She was bad, man. It's gonna work though. In the United States, it might work. They might be able to twist enough arms to make it extended in the US. But other countries, I don't think they're gonna give a damn. See? Red oh, yeah, Red Barn next to your name. Okay, that's why. That's why you're teleporting. That's why you're teleporting. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I was hoping she was going to commit. It looked like she was going to start committing for a second. Damn it, man. Why didn't she commit? I only need to hit one person with a thrown hatch for the daily. I think she had to go pee. Maybe. Up you go. Oh, and for those that are joining in too, I think I got it working. But you should be able to mouse over to different perks and add-ons and stuff and see what everything is. I'm actually happy about because I didn't think it would work on console. No! Oh, she's back. Fuckers. Yeah, my concern was the uh, how the console orientation was going to be because. Of it being a set screen, like it will be in the bottom right, bottom left, and using uh, damn, you scream loud. Using Diablo as an example, where the HUD isn't the same. My concern was that the X Y coordinates of the UI would be off on console, and it wouldn't read it correctly. I'm actually happy that it's that's not the case. However, I can... There is one uh, spot on console. It's on menu. That... You see a little bit of an issue with it reading. Like, it will give you some weird perk from Survivor if you're on Killer and vice versa. one. There's three gens left and two of them are basically AFK. I'm just gonna 
Dark Rock for a bit. I already got the daily. No one's on that side up. There you are. Did I hit it? Ah. Damn it. I hit this freaking pole right here. Nice one. And for those that are curious, I run Lightborn. Did you give up? Like that swing was meant for you to run away. Anyways, the reason why I run Lightborn is because of a concussion I suffered back in October. And there's a red strobe effect whenever you're blind that makes me nauseous as hell. There's still a couple little 3D things like in Splatoon that also make me sick as hell. But for Dead by Daylight, the only thing that makes me sick still is whenever the uh, flash perk, whenever you get blinded, goes off. And sadly, it's not just flashlights. It could be flashbangs. It could be the trapped uh, gens. There's just no way of knowing. So just so I don't get sick, I just leave my born on as default. And it's true, you don't have to look at. Um, there's ways around the flashlight, like looking away, looking at a wall. But there's nothing you could do about kicking a gen, and then boom, you're blind. There's nothing you could do about it. There's no counter as a killer, except don't kick gens, which is not really that handy of an idea. Oh, it's just always, always running. Yeah, I do get great value out of it though, because there'll be survivors who think I don't run it, and they find out the hard way when they sit there and try to blind me for five minutes and eat two hits. That is too safe of a loop. Yeah, that's just too damn safe of a loop. What? Nice. You ran into the side. Yeah, there's a couple loops I found recently that are a pain. So that one... The only thing you can do as a killer is mind game it and hope she messes up. Or wait to get to... Uh, Bloodlust 3. Because then at Bloodlust 3, as long as you fake the distance a little, I purposely... Tapping back every so often. You should be able to run right up and just uh, grab him at the last second. Gotcha. If I could get the Claudette out, I think I could get everybody else out just fine. Ah! He's not decisive, I'm begging you. Please don't have decisive.
one there. I don't see where the other is. Right back up. There she is. All right, so north and south and ignore mid. That gen's dead. I could do a quick look on this one because I know there's one on here. Nice one. Brilliant. There we go. The only thing I can think of on that one is if he panicked a little. I forgot which way was the safe way out. He just kept running his head into the wall after he got hit. We're both dead on the next one, so it's early a I choose. I choose who lives, I choose who dies. Because of uh, light? Maybe. It depends though. Because if she's just going to hit safe loops and make it an absolute living nightmare then it'll just be better for me to take him out and have the game earned on a quick chase around hatch or something it just depends on how she plays the next couple minutes out yeah looks like she's just gonna play building Need Bloodlust 3? Oh no you don't. No. No. Hell no. You're not back capping it. Go on your corner and heal. She's not even waiting anymore. She's just going for the jump. He's in the top left corner, or top right corner. Had a drop early, eh? Nah, just fucked you. Or you could use your third perk, your third chance perk. That works. A little too high. Does she have decisive though? Nope. No power struggle, no flip flop. No horsey perk. No bird's eye view. Teleport man. Dude, the teleporting god. He's not a rap god, he's a teleporting god. Ah! 
I think I heard in that back corner. I think. Jeez, was I right? I was, I did hear it over here. No, it's inside a train, I can't- Ah! It's right inside a truck. I knew I heard it. Was that a totem? I don't think that was a totem, because there was no totem on that side. Really? Okay. Where the hell was the hatch then? Up, oh, up to silver. Two boons. Circle of healing. Exponential. Circle of healing. Oh yeah, it could have been because we did see the Leon in that corner when we were chasing the uh, Jill. So you could have pulled that totem up over there easily. Yeah. It sounds so similar to me. The Claudia did have besides though. So I'm curious why she never used it. But she wasn't a bleed out. She was hooked three times. She was definitely unhooked. I'm confused why she didn't use it. Not a big deal. I'm curious. Alright, name reveals. Who's who? Kicking pumpkins. That's not nice. Like, I wasn't sleeping. I didn't even say anything either. That bitch ain't catching me sleeping. And you ain't catching me sleeping. I ain't sleeping on no job. Oh. You ain't sleeping on no job. <laughs> ah. I was gonna get this one done real quick. Uh, that was already rewarded. This one is earn three devout, uh, blah 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 blah. We had to play three games, that's fine. Let's try a different killer. Let's try one we haven't played in a while. Because we just hit up the silver, so I'm not worried about de-pipping or anything, really. Let's try... Do you want to do twins? Or do we want to do Ceno? I think it's Ceno. Might be fun. What a freaking Ceno bite. But we have the... Factor twins and does the break and make it impossible for us to finish the game because of how buggy she is. Let's do seen a bite. I don't like the idea of spending maybe five minutes. I get penalized. You are rats. Two. How many perks do I unlock for him? Um, get tier 3 out of the way. Yeah, done. Uh, 
Franklin's I can see for a build down the road. Alright. So how do we want to build this out? We were using the cheesy meta last time. We're not going to use that one, obviously. When a chain hunt is inactive, survivors beyond 24 meters of limited configuration cannot see its aura. That would be fun. probably made most logical sense. We have a purple hand? A purple hand? No, that's fine. Three auras. Slow down. Um. Probably start with that, I guess. Yeah, screw it. Let's roll the dice. Let's see what happens. Alright, so we have three PC players, or three Windows players. I basically throw Xbox and Windows OS together. Doesn't matter if it's Steam, GOG, whatever. Act on matters is probably on a Windows OS. So, William, Michaela, Vittorio, Windows. And then Kate is a PlayStation player. Hmm. I also noticed a trend of Vittorio always being the last one ready up. Almost like the new Meg. Just make that a thing to where Vittorio becomes a new Meg. <laughs> Traitor. I tried Oak, that sounds about right. Envelope locked, okay. Hmm. I'll see what time the patch drops tomorrow. I don't remember if it's around lunch or if it's around dinner time. Eastern time, anyways. I think it's around dinner time for us. Maybe. Yeah. Dead by daylight tomorrow. 19th, 20th. We take 19th off because it's Wednesday. 20th, we might do Advanced Wars. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that or first want to wait for Advanced Wars to go on sale and then pick it up. And the next month is Zelda. And then a month after that, yeah, before. That's pretty much it. Let's give us two slip something out. But yeah, we also have July, I think. Or is it June? June or July? Or June or July? That's the anniversary update for Dead by Daylight. No! I... Son of a bitch! I knew there was a perk I was missing. Uh, Forgot to put the one, uh, the perk on. It lets me see where everyone is at the start. I love using that so much because it tells me 
what side of the map I need to throw pressure on quickly. Well, luckily for this one, it's two spawning points. It's here or there. And down you go. Good job. So, does anybody object to Vittorio being coming to New Meg? Anyone? Anyone at all? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die on that hill saying that Vittorio is a New Meg. In this game, if you see a Meg player, there's a very high chance you're going to be able to kill her in a game. Because Megs tend to be very inexperienced players. And Vittorio players lately. That seems to be the case. Oh, I messed that up horribly. That's fine. Also, this is my once-a-day reminder about throne, 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 throne. Good way to protect my privacy, good way to protect your privacy. And that is the end of my daily reminder of it. Oh. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing. Whipped it again. I'm a whiffer. And down you go. Right. Now you must come with me. You know, unlike Wesker, I actually like the voice lines for Pyramid Head. Or not Pyramid Head, but for Pinhead. They don't feel as obtrusive and annoying. That probably gonna annoy somebody, but it's true. just annoy me after a while because of how much he says it. Like, the frequency is too often. I feel like the balance on Pyramid Head is just right. I don't 
hell do I keep calling him Pyramid Head? Pinhead. Fuck. You got stuck. It's okay, it happens to me all the time too. Back. We spin and we spin and we spin again. We spin and we spin and we spin again. There we go. So, if you're curious about survivor tips, I obviously don't play survivor, but I'm pretty sure everyone will agree that you don't do what she just did. It is probably a very good idea not to do what she just did. Again, I don't main survivor, but you summon. I think everyone would agree on that. I came. I came. Get it. I came. And Bill's dead. Good job, Bill. Up you go. My dude, what are you doing? You're being annoying. Look at that. Hey, Biddy. Oink. Ah, oh, that was rude. I'm actually curious, how does he snuff totems? Is that really smart? Like, what were you trying to do with that one? What part of your IQ said that was a good idea to do? Ah, well played. But now you have no pellets. The box. You opened it. I came. I came. I came. I came. Come here, Vidi. Vittorio. Come on, Julio. Came all over those generators. Up you go. Now you must come with me. There's a lot of sexual in the windows with this chat. Came, come. I blame the MTV. Oh, you can actually launch the chains on? I didn't know that. Cool. There we go. My dude, if you hop off, I'm gonna bleed you out. I will be that childish and slug you out.
All right, so who are we going for first? Two girls, one chain. Apparently it's her. Two girls, one chain. Where are you going? Dizzy. I'm gonna vomit. You quit that. You're legit making me dizzy. What does she do? Does she allow her to die or does she go for a save? She's upstairs. No, she's right there. Oops. I swear to God, I wasn't trying to be in here. Stick an identity. They each only have one hook left. See? It's fair. The only thing that's not fair is if she can let her go or not. Nope. She legit is going to do her dirty. You saved you off the hook, and you're gonna leave her to die. You're gonna do her dirty like that. Really? Really? Okay. There she is. Don't spawn, please don't spawn, please don't spawn there. I got 360 no scoped. If she gets it, I'm fine, but I really want to get her. There we go. GG's. The fact that we didn't find it after running around the whole thing is actually a little sus. I'm in a little niche area. Interesting. Hey, three, three, go. Very 
nice. Twenty four times, okay. Do you want Keith anything? Let's see, any points I want to dump on anyone? I don't know. Big thanks. I'm just tossing back on her. Here we crows. Nice. We are going to go say hi to somebody real quick. If you can tag along on the raid, I'd really appreciate it. This is what I want uh, used as the raid thing. You might end stream soon, but this will be funny. So, hope you all have a good night's rest. A great day tomorrow. As always, thank you guys for everything. Uh, thank you, SDK. Thank you, Squizzy. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. So, hope you all have a good night's rest. A great day tomorrow. And thank you guys. Seriously. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's fine. You don't have to. Hi, guys. Love y'all.